Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another gameplay video. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Uh, as you guys know, I was out of town. Uh, Caitlin and I ended up going to see a friend in Charleston. We had a fantastic time. We'll talk about that as we go through. But today, we are playing with a Rakdos Onyx deck. Before we jump in, I just want to give a friendly reminder. If you are not already entered on our Instagram giveaway, please go check that out. The post is linked uh, in, our, um, in our stories there, so you can check that out see how you enter uh super easy but we are giving away another strixhaven bundle so good luck to everybody we're trying to push to 10,000 followers so that is the goal uh please if you would like to be a part of that community it would mean very very much to us uh we would greatly appreciate having you in our community so please consider uh doing that and entering to win that free give or that free bundle excuse me but today we are testing out a Rakdos Professor Onyx, Onyx deck. Wow, I can barely talk today. It's early. Uh, anyway, this deck is very reminiscent of the old just kind of Rakdos discard decks. We've got a lot of the same stuff. We've got Croxa. Uh, we've got Valky, uh, God of Lies, obviously Tibalt on the other side does a lot for us as well. We've got Agonizing Remorse, uh, and then things to fill the graveyard like Meyer Triton, Tamarack Calls the Dead. Um, we've got Rankle here. We've got a lot of really cool stuff. Um, some things we can get back out of the graveyard include Onyx as well as that Croxa. Uh, for for kind of big finishers and then a lot of the rest of the deck is very focused around removal So we've got baleful mastery brand new strict saving card does some really awesome things Exiling target target creature or planeswalker Obviously you want to try and pay that four for this but in a pinch It's nice to be able to play this for two uh, You just really don't want to give your opponent that card uh, and then flunk is here as well given that we are a discard deck uh, Flunk actually does quite a bit of work. So good to see that here uh, we do have, of course, Shatter Skull Smashing, Axe is a land, but also some removal, uh, Bone Crusher, Giant, Murderous Rider, the, the usual gambit with Professor Onyx sitting at the top. This is really the big payoff card. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, and even though this is a one of, hopefully we'll be able to kind of find this at some point and bring it into play. Uh, we do have Liliana Wa Waker of the Dead as well. So, uh, very fun deck, uh, only tested it once or twice, but had pretty good luck with it. So we're going to give it a shot today hopefully you guys hang around stick with us if you would like please make sure you look down below there is that button to join our membership uh, I highly encourage you to consider doing that please don't feel like you have to of course that is paid but it does mean a lot to us if you'd like to join our community you do unlock a few things badges emotes stuff like that we will be working on that membership down the line to make sure that we've got added value for everybody there uh, but just to get us started uh, we thought we'd add that in obviously no red mana in this hand uh, but overall actually okay we're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it goes. That Valky, uh, especially in best of one, tends to be a very, very solid uh, turn two play just to be able to pull something out of the hand here. Knowing that this is a Luris deck, my expectation is we'll be able to find something. And this is the Rat deck. That is interesting. <clears throat> um, this does give us our red mana, which is fantastic. Just sets us up very, very nicely. And I am going to go Valky here. Uh, curious to see how this actually works out. This is a funny one. Um, what do we want to take out? Uh, it might honestly, I think it's the Meyer Triton. Uh, anytime you've got a graveyard deck like this, I prefer to take the Meyer Triton um, just because essentially it adds cards to their hand. They're going to be able to Meyer's Grasp uh, away the Valky, no problem, but still takes that card from the hand, which is kind of nice. Uh, I guess until it leaves the battlefield, but that's okay. Waste a turn, which is important. Uh, and now, I mean, yeah, they attack for one, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, and they've had to waste their removal, which is quite nice. So, uh, we can actually just flunk this, uh, which doesn't seem like a terrible way to go. The other option would be to be a little bit more, uh, we'll say mana efficient and go for Tamarat. Um, but I do kind of want to get rid of this thing before it gets too crazy. So I'm actually going to proactively flunk this um, just to get this out of here. There we go. Uh, I just don't want them to start using it and then be able to spit out a bunch of rat tokens and then unfortunately we'd be in a place where we just can't one for one everything because we do have to keep in mind the the strength of this deck is the one for one removal uh, that it provides and we've got plenty of it, but 
uh, we don't have enough to deal with a general token creator just over and over again. Uh, so here we go. And we actually can just rankle here, uh, which I think is definitely the play. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, now the question becomes, do we want each player to discard a card, sack a creature? How do we want to do this? I think um, I'm going to make us each discard a card here. Uh, and I'm actually going to discard one of these Mire Tritons. Um, get them down to less cards in hand. That way, the only thing that they can do, hopefully, is Luris. Uh, in which case, we can hopefully kind of answer that problem. Um, next turn, obviously, we've got some options. So I'm not terribly worried about taking damage this turn. That's not a problem. Um, and we'll see how this goes. There we go. They're bringing that into hand. Fantastic. There's the Ox. Um... So what do we think is the play? Uh, I think I'm going to do this. Um, OK. Uh, let's see. Interesting. We do need that second red source at some point here, guys. That is very, very crucial for us. Um, but we will see what we can do. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and actively get rid of this Fiend Artisan. I think I've misplayed a good bit here, but we are going to test this out a little bit and see how it goes. Um, attack in. And we can actually both discard a card here and sack a creature. This gets rid of the Mire Triton, so we obviously discard the Ox um, because this just allows us to then play it later on for cheaper, so that's not a really big problem for us. Uh, and then we'll sacrifice this and we'll see how this goes. I don't know if that's the right play or not. I have no idea. Uh, they do have more uh, ammo, we'll say, in their hands. So we'll see if this works out, but uh, don't have super high hopes. Rankle is very, very good. Um, and we do have, you know, unless they can remove Rankle, we do have an onboard way to kind of deal with the Luris. Um, but they do get to play a free creature here. So. Uh, or just Myers Grasp, honestly. That Rankle, that's a very solid play. Makes a lot of sense. There's a Croxa. Um, and Croxa is decent, but it's really not doing the most for us at the moment. Um, I think actually the best play is just Tamaret Calls the Dead here. Uh, unfortunately, all lands down there. Um, we'll go ahead and get a Myers Triton out. Uh, this just allows us to block, so it just gives us away. They can dead weight it, I suppose, but then they're wasting their uh, their play from the graveyard. If that's what they want to do. Fine by me. Um, I think we very easily could have waited on the bale or is it uh yeah baleful mastery here and maybe done a bit more with that. But we do now have uh, some interesting stuff here. So let's Meyer Triton get that out of there. That gives us this. Um, let's go ahead and get this Luris out of here. Um, hopefully then that kind of solves at least one of these problems. Ah, very clever. Okay, so they're able to bring this back with the Malakir Rebirth. Makes sense. Totally fine by me. Um, just kind of wastes or burns a card in hand. Hopefully, well, they just get to replay these Myers Grasps. That's the only problem. The only good thing is that does waste their graveyard place. So we will see we will see we will see um sure get to attack for three here and we did mill our professor onyx which is kind of funny okay so we do have an option here let's go ahead and croxa first get a card out of there and then we'll get to flunk the Luris uh, and hopefully get them in a position where they've only got one card in hand and it not be a very useful card Theoretically, um, we will see. What did they get rid of? Heartless Act. Okay, so let's try and flunk this. Hopefully this this lands. Hopefully they don't have another rebirth. Let's see. They make it. They can just draw a card here as well. Yeah, they just draw a card. Obviously it didn't work. Great. Okay. Good. Good. So now if we just get a red source, we're actually in really good shape. Um, given that we've got Croxa, uh, two of them actually, um, we've got some ammo as long as we get that uh, red source. So we'll see how that goes. Um, wow, really happy we got that out of there. Okay, um, 
Hmm. I think our best bet is just to play the Bone Crusher Giant. We'll leave up that Baleful Mastery uh, probably next turn, depending on what we draw here. But I think getting a just solid threat down. Ooh, there we go. There is the uh, Luris back. That's pretty good. Yep. I'm glad we saved the Baleful Mastery, honestly, because just exiling that Luris is such a clean way to deal with it. Um, and I think we are just gonna actively do that this turn. If we had a second red source, we would be in so much better shape, but unfortunately we just can't get that second red source. We've milled quite a few, unfortunately, as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't have a great feeling about this game, but we'll see. I think we're putting up a fight. I think uh, despite some misplays for me, we're doing surprisingly okay. Ooh, uh, but it could be significantly better, so. One, two, three, four, five, whoops, five. Whoa, I actually, whoops, uh, I did take away an ox. That was not correct, uh, but that's okay. Let's do this. Uh, maybe the ox would have been a better play too. Um, so the reason I'm thinking the ox, it escapes with 1-1 counters on it, which means Heartless Act doesn't actually do that much. Um, but it also draws us a few cards and things like that as well, so. Regardless, that'll be probably our follow-up play anyway, if they can deal with this Croxa. That shouldn't mean that we die this turn. Um, okay. Fair enough. Uh, they've refilled their hand. Let's see if we can do the same on our turn. I think we're rushing through. We just need to slow down slightly, and we'll see how we do. Uh, also, guys, I was going to say, uh, Charleston this weekend was amazingly fun. We had a fantastic time. As I said, Caitlin and I went to go visit a friend of ours uh, who we really got close to before we started dating, which was really fun. Uh, it was great to see her again, and we uh, we were able, she was kind enough to allow us to stay with her, so we were very safe about everything, uh, but got to go, you know, r mob around Charleston a little bit and have some fun there. Uh, it was beautiful. The weather was perfect. We did get to hit the beach as well. Um, just an all-around fantastic weekend. We really had a great time. So was very, very happy to, uh, to get to see her and spend some time there. It was great. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have to exile eight cards. That's so many. Seven, eight. <laughs> And again, if we were being careful, we really should uh, keep an eye on what we are exiling here. There are certain things that we could exile and certain things that may not be quite so good to exile, but it's all good. Uh, we do have the flunk in hand that we're discarding there. That's fine. Uh, let's do this. Let's mire Triton. <laughs> Truthfully, should have played the flunk on one of these. That was kind of a mistake too. I am rushing too much, guys. I'm rushing too much. Word to the wise, make sure that you are slowly going through your games, not just kind of mobbing through. It doesn't uh, doesn't benefit you very well to do that. Um, all right, let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Uh, they do have to deal six damage to us. Thankfully, we gained a little bit of life with that Mire Triton. That is helpful, um, but we could have also gotten a kill on one of their creatures, which is... A mistake on our end for sure um, because we could have flunked something gotten the land still played the mire triton we would have been fine um, so that was just a missed missed opportunity on my end um, and this is really the place we don't want to be in which is that we they just have a lot of sweepers and we have very little we can do about it um, I'm gonna take the opportunity to kill one of these guys this is how we uh, just actively lose, is with a bunch of uh, those little guys. So don't really want to take that chance. Um, here we kind of have to go for the ox. Uh, six, seven, eight. I have to get rid of a Croxa here, but that's okay. We've got multiple. Two, three. Interesting. Okay. Um... <laughs> So, what do we do? Um, can we do multiple things is my question. I mean, we certainly can. Uh, we can do this, but then allow them to draw a card with the Baleful Mastery. I don't know if this is enough to save us, uh, but it certainly seems like enough to maybe prolong. Get that. Um, 
And truthfully, we should wait, I suppose. This does have menace. All right. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> uh, don't have high hopes, but we're going to certainly do the best we can. Um, we kind of had to go this route to save ourselves as much damage as possible here. Um, they can just attack him with everything if they want and get at minimum two damage in. We do get to exile some stuff here or a thing here. I'm going to exile this now. Uh, the reason is if this dies, it drains us for two. Um, and they could very easily just have another two damage somewhere in their hand, and I don't want to deal with that. Uh, so we're getting rid of that before it can actually deal its damage. That gets rid of that creature. Um, they've got another one. That's okay. All right. Let's see. Get another 2-2. Two, two. We can Croxa. Um, hmm. We can do both. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's not get rid of the Croxes in the graveyard. This is an interesting game, guys. I'll be honest, this is going a lot longer than I expected as well. So we do actually get to tank both of the cards in hand if we would like. Um, this gets rid of both of their cards. Um... Do we attack in here is the question. Um, I actually think we do. <clears throat> okay, kind of expected them to block there anyway, so that's fine, but we do kind of need to pressure them here at some point. Uh, so this I don't think is necessarily the wrong play. Um, they do have a lot of options to get some massive 5-5 five, five demons, but uh, theoretically we might... Uh, we'll see. We just need to pressure them enough to, to only have a turn or two of, of action. Okay. Rankle. Uh, Rankle is quite good. Um, don't really want either of those. Wow, and we got the win. Okay, so that was... That was a tough one. Um, I definitely misplayed a few times there, but we were able to to secure that win despite a very, I mean, we were definitely in a disadvantaged position there for quite a while. So I'm glad that we were able to get there. That was a bit of a tough one, but we we're sitting at a one and no record, guys. We're hopefully gonna get four games in. That's kind of my goal always is to see if we can get four games. Uh, if we can get more than that, great, but this deck is gonna be a bit slower. So my expectation is it's gonna take a little longer. Um, so we may only get three. We will see. We will see. We will see. Uh, but guys, I hope I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. I did. I, I was over here talking about my weekend, but let me know what's something that you guys got to do this weekend that maybe you enjoyed or had some fun with. Maybe you got to see some family, play some magic, uh, do some fun stuff like that. Uh, I I really did have a fantastic time. Caitlin and I. It had been over a year since we'd been able to see our uh, our friend in Charleston, so it was really fun to go see her. Uh, so we were very, very happy. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to just flunk this. Uh, these protection spells are really, like, so the Selfless Saviors and the Alciads are really tricky for this deck, uh, for multiple reasons, obviously, but the biggest one just being that they devalue a lot of the cards in our list, so I'm pretty active in trying to kill these outright, um, and again here, now that they don't have protection up, I just get to Bone Crusher this, um, and get it out of here. Very crucially, you don't, you gotta be careful with Bone Crushers on the Alciads or the Selfless Saviors. A lot of times they will just straight say, no, I'm not gonna let that happen, basically, and sacrifice it, which works to their advantage, obviously, because then they don't really have to take any, uh, that they basically fizzle the spell, and it's just a one-for-one -one trade. So, I'm gonna go ahead and Croxa here. Get a card out of hand. Um, interesting. Sigrid. Okay. 
Uh, this is a very annoying spell for us because it does make Liliana a lot di more difficult to play. Um, but given a land, we actually just get the Ox down or worst case scenario, we do just have Bone Crusher Giants. So we do have some options here. We're just going to be in a little bit of a tricky spot potentially, and it looks like we are. I'm going to Agonizing Remorse. Uh, let's get some stuff out of hand here. Wow. Okay. Magistrate is a problem. I think we just have to take the Magistrate. That is a huge problem card for us because obviously we've got a lot of cards we're trying to play elsewhere. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and ditch that. But here again, we are very much in a problem. They just have Double Strike and that's that's bad. That's real bad. Um, I mean, this is about the only thing we can do. I think we just lose here. They just have a lot of Double Strike and we can't really deal with it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede. That was a pretty quick one. That is a one and one record. Un unfortunately, like, I mean, I guess the correct play would have been to take the, the Blade Historium, but the reality is if we didn't take the Magistrate, we wouldn't be able to play anything. I, I don't know. I could see an argument either way, but I think doing the math, the Blade Historium would have been the better way to go. Um, again, playing a little fast on my end, but it is all good. Let's jump into game three, guys. Let's see. I, hopefully we can get four games. We're doing okay on time now. Uh, that was a relatively quick one. Do we like this hand? The answer is really just an outright no. Um, Bone Crusher Giant is about the best play we have. We do have the Shatter Skull Smashing if we want it. But I'm going to take a mulligan here. And honestly, this is a lot cleaner. <clears throat> uh, it's not great, but it does allow us to play the majority of the spells in our hand. Uh, given that we've got both colors here. We'll lead on the Swamp uh, and then be able to, to hold up this uh, pathway land for depending on whatever we draw here. And see, in this case, it'll be better to have this as a black source than a red source. So this actually works great. Um, obviously, next turn, we get to leave up Flunk and or, or excuse me, or the Bone Crushers, uh, which is great. Just gives us some nice reactionary kind of plays and then we can proactively play a bone crusher or a tamarack calls the dead in fact uh if we'd like i'm gonna let this resolve uh looks like abzan control this deck is frustrating uh but i'm curious to see how it actually goes because they do have a good solid number of like decent threats but a lot of this deck tends to be pretty controlling if i'm not mistaken uh which means I don't know, we might see uh, some interesting stuff here. Um, part of me does just want to Bone Crusher them right off the bat here, and I think I will. Um, very few major spells to, I think, worry about, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get Tamarit Calls the Dead going here. Crucially, we do want to get cards out of hand because, again, Agonizing Remorse, things like that, that's always a bit of a problem. This also is just a reoccurring way to set up for a better turn four. Uh, so what they might be able to do here is just remove the 2-2, which is fine, but then we actually get another 2-2 plus a Bone Crusher or maybe a Rankle or something along those lines on the following turn. So it's actually okay, uh, in my opinion. Um, not great, obviously, but it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in here for two first. <laughs> um, these count as even, so I am going to go odd here. What we're worried about is Extinction Event next turn, uh, but honestly diversifying the mana cost, so having basically even and then an odd. Uh, okay, sure. They have to take two to do that, so that's actually okay by me, um, because we are, I mean... They're not to a low life total, don't get me wrong, but it is going to be part of the equation, and they look like they are very low on resources here, which is great for us. Uh, we need land, so I'm going to go ahead and ditch these. Very much need land here. Um, first things first, we attack in. If they want to use a removal spell, great. It just lessens the number of cards in hand, and then we actually get to follow this up with just a nice little Croxa here. <clears throat> Uh, not an amazing card by any means in this situation, but it does get a card out of hand uh, and any help with that that we can take, we will happily take. Uh, honestly, just seeing a land would be the scariest thing from them right now. Um, we know that their hand has a lot of good stuff, including Garrick, so we're happy to see that go. And now a red source sets us up super well to just get a Croxa down. Granted, they I guarantee have plenty of ways to deal with it, but sure. And there is that extinction event. Again, we knew that that would happen, that's fine. Um, 
and still no land uh unfortunately uh so we just pass here i am gonna gonna shock them with this bone crusher giant at the end of the turn that's the play uh i think to maximize damage here got another land in hand okay and here i'm gonna agonizing remorse let's get something out of this uh this hand here wow they have got just so much stuff so i think we take the threat uh, it just means that while they can answer stuff all day, they really can't do too much else. Um, and I think the threat, given that they are one mana away, just means that we we really don't want to see that land. Uh, for instance, if that was just a land, we'd be pretty dead. <laughs> um, I'm going to pay three. I'm going to throw the Rankle out because they're just going to answer this. I mean, there's no way they don't. Uh, happy to attack here. Wow, they just let it hit uh interesting um yeah i'm gonna make us each discard a card i'm gonna discard the flunk uh or actually no we're gonna discard the ox um they probably yeah blood chief's thirst makes the most sense i think um and now we can i mean if they don't answer this rankle we just get to keep flunking <laughs> i mean or discard flunk there we go. We got another win, guys. That is a two and one record at the moment. Uh, glad we took the threat there because it looked like they just only had removal uh, for the next few turns, which meant that while we didn't necessarily have the most threatening board in the world, uh, we certainly had some big threats that were recursive and they didn't seem to have uh, a good solid way, like an extinction event to, to exile it or anything like that. So that kind of put us in a good place. So let's go in for a fourth and final game, guys. Uh, hopefully we can do this one. I think we played pretty well on that one. Uh, in comparison to the first game in particular, I think we, we were really the first two, truthfully. I think we rushed through. I think in that one we played a much more clean game. Now, do we keep this hand... You know, with the double Mire Trident, uh, I'm tempted to keep it, as well as the Baleful Mastery. Obviously, we can't play Bone Crusher. I'm going to try it. Uh, we do get the untapped Castle Lockthwain, which is really the only reason I'm okay to, to throw this out. Maybe this is a mistake, because this is a mono red uh, list. All right, that helps tremendously. Those Fable Passages mean so much in this, in this list. All right, let's go ahead, and we will fetch a red source. Perfect. Uh, we'll throw out the Swamp. These Mire Tritons, honestly, very, very good in this matchup. Obviously, they eat a removal spell most of the time, but crucially, uh, they really don't have a lot of, uh, they, they gain us some life and they're a Death Toucher, so if they don't have a way to deal with it, we're just in great shape. Um, probably could have waited on that Bone Crusher for this reason, um, but it's okay. Cool. Uh, let's throw this down. Let's throw this. Um... I'm actually gonna throw the bone crusher out and man we uh i'm i messed up slightly here this should have been a red source um that would have given us multiple double reds and stuff like that which would have been good um wow they just have yeah i rushed again definitely a mistake on my end we should have waited on some things here oh that's terrible too uh let's do this gains us some life and gives us a death toucher let's do it again um now they have to have two removal spells but if they do they win um oh my gosh <laughs> sure well i think they just kill us uh well they're close at, at least um okay uh let's flunk this and my triton if we there's no way in heck we can stabilize here but if we did that would be amazing uh there's the phoenix that means we just die Ugh, i rushed guys that was a huge mistake oh i can't believe i did that so what we should have done uh is waited and bone crushered on their turn on the bolt hound after they had played it so that way we wouldn't have taken nearly as much damage that would have bought us a lot more time and gotten us into a better place but you know what it's okay we uh we learned a little bit with this deck i think this is a really fun one uh i think given i think if we had played a bit cleaner 
Uh, we would have had a much better matchup, especially in that last one. I think taking the Blade Historian in game two would have been a better play as well. Um, I was thinking long term of the deck, not um, you know the the damage that that Blade Historian can do. And you just see how powerful that card is. But regardless, this has been a fun one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is a great deck. I do recommend trying it out uh, if you are interested in the best of one ladder. I think this is a pretty solid one. It has a lot of answers that you need. So definitely a worthwhile investment to try it. But guys, I hope you had a great weekend uh, it's great to be back i hope you guys uh do some fun stuff this week good luck have a fantastic week uh and i will see you guys very soon for another gameplay video thank you so much for watching make sure you check out that join as well if you're interested in uh supporting the channel we'd certainly appreciate it but guys thank you so much see you again very soon